And so we need some good classic New Orleans grub. Ooh. And so who are you going to ask? Chef Beckett over at Southern Rail. Welcome. Oh, that smells good morning. So good. How are you? We're doing we're great. Do, we're doing great because that smells amazing. Well, it's already like dinner lunchtime for yeah. you both, right? Yeah. yeah. So, so sauteing shrimp with a little bit of garlic and shallots. Oh my goodness. Um, we really want to get these flavors going. Mm -hmm. Jambalaya is about layers of flavor okay. and, and and that whole mouth feeling, right? Is that about as traditional as you can get? Jambalaya is super traditional, um, especially for for Mardi Gras. Obviously, it's a New York, uh, excuse, New York celebration. No, a New <laughs> Orleans celebration, um, and we're bringing it to Southern Rail on Tuesday all day long. We're gonna have great drink specials, um, tons of beads for everybody. There you go. And king, king cake. cake. Yep, absolutely. King cake is super important, which we'll talk about um, in a minute. Okay. I want to ask you real quick. What is it about Southern cooking that got you so interested that you wanted to open an entire restaurant dedicated to it? Uh, you know what? I get this question a lot, and I'm from San Francisco area, so people are always like, "Well, how do you know how to make Southern food?" But to me, I think the quintessential part of Southern food that's really important is that it comes from a very soulful place. Yeah. So it's it's your grandma in the kitchen mm -hmm. all day. You know, she picked vegetables in the garden and put them in a pot all day long. You come home and that smell like it oh, just yeah. kills you when you mm -hmm. walk in the front door. So it's it's very Soulful. It's about layering flavors, cooking things, stewing things for long periods of time. So it's it's a kind of a slow process. It's right? a romance. Yeah. Oh. It's a, oh, uh oh. oh I, so we've I, had I some onions, green peppers, onions, green peppers. Chicken, yep. And sausage. sausage. Um, we're gonna throw this rice in here, and what we do is we actually cook the rice with the jambalaya sauce. So it's got all those flavors inside the rice kernel. That smells insane. Yeah. It really does. Tons of okay. spices in here, and then this is our secret jambalaya sauce. Secret. And you see, can you chunky. just give us like a little bit? Well, there might be a little bacon in there. Okay. There might be a little ground andouille. There might be some tomatoes. But mm. that's it. That you know, that's, just that's it. That's it. And ten other things. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we we uh, we're gonna have king cake for everybody. You wanna? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's oh, switch places, and you okay. guys can uh, actually decorate the king okay. cake. Now every piece has to have all three so colors. Tell us about the tradition of the king cake, please. So there's a couple different stories, um, or lots of different stories about the king cake. Some of the stories are that you know you make a king cake and you have it during the celebration, and whoever gets the baby in their slice of the king cake either has to host a party next year or has good luck. I like the good luck because last week when someone brought some king cake to the newsroom, I got the baby. Yeah. You got the baby. I got the baby. It's, it's a big, huge honor. Regardless. It was a big baby. It was a baby. what? Yeah. She must broke her tooth. She must lost a crown. Well, and at Southern Rail, we had this conversation, and we said, should we make one king cake with one baby, and then somebody breaks their tooth and then gets mad at the restaurant, or do no, we just gently? No, everyone's gonna get mad at you. Right. We just gently put oh, a baby okay. on every single piece of. And king it's cake. right up front, so you know that you're getting the. You baby. know where the baby is. No broken crowns. No at your restaurant. Nobody wants a missing baby, right? So <laughs> or a missing crown. Right. That exactly. No, Maybe no, a dentist. No, 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 no. So right. jambalaya. I mean beignets, of course. Um, uh, you know, great music all day. Uh, classic cocktails like Hurricane and King oh, nice. Rex, and some of our signature cocktails Did you bring at the restaurant. Any of those? Um, sure. <laughs> right after the segment, along with your pimento cheese. Yeah, my pimento cheese. That was a promise. I messed up. I messed up. I'm sorry. <laughs> it won't taking, happen again. Are you taking, or do people need reservations? For uh, I recommend part? reservations. Okay. Of course, come on by, have a cocktail, have a snack, have some jambalaya, um, and and say hello. We're going to be there having fun. It's going to be a very busy evening. Do you need more? Anything more? More than the jambalaya, really, and then your king cake. I mean, this is perfect. Well, I love this, and and it's a big heaping bowl of it. You take home leftovers, even if you have another snack. And this is great in the morning with a with a fried egg on it. Also, oh, oh, as breakfast. most good food is, yeah. right? Mm. I like so, that. Okay, real quick for people that don't know, yeah. where is Southern Rail? Southern Rail is Third Avenue in Camelback, so 300 West Camelback, and we're located right next to Changing Hands Bookstore. Um, and you know, great patio, great drinks, great atmosphere, yeah. good. Ooh. And the weather's so nice. It'd it be great. It's perfect. So and the weather, yeah, the weather on Tuesday is going to be awesome, yeah. right? Yep. Yep. Yes. Yep. Yes. From an expert. He promises. Pl plenty of sunshine. We'll be right back, everyone. Thank you, Chef, <laughs> Thanks, so chef. much.